Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to build the V-tail of our FT Tenant and our FT Tenant Lite. Now both these tails are gonna build the exact same. The only difference with the FT Tenant Lite is you're not gonna to need to install the control horns or do the bevel cuts on the control surfaces. Now the materials we're gonna be using in this section are gonna be our main tail, our angle gauge, two control horns if you're building the FT Tenant, not the light, and also our mounting plate. Let's go ahead and get our materials in order and we'll get started. So the first piece we're gonna be putting our attention towards is gonna to be our tail. This is called a V-tail because basically it does not have a vertical tail surface and a horizontal tail surface, but it looks like a V. Now the really neat thing about a V-tail is it gives us the control of both yaw and pitch, but also provides us with both vertical and horizontal stabilization. This saves a lot of weight and also reduces drag, so it's a great choice if you're looking to save weight in the tail or looking for an efficient, speedy design. Some of the drawbacks may be that it's not gonna work as well in slow flight characteristics. The first thing we're going to do with our V-tail is we're going to cut our bevel cuts and those bevel cuts are going to be on our main control surfaces if you're building the FT Tenant and also where it's going to bend. Let's go ahead and cut our bevel cuts first where it's going to be bending. We're going to fold our first piece over 180 degrees and set in our utility blade for, to the first detent. We're going to put our blade just above the paper. Now holding our blade at about a 45 degree angle, we're going to carefully cut through just like that. The way that we're going to know that our bevel cut is deep enough is when we hold this up and it can easily bend up to allow our gauge to slide under without pushing against it. We're going to do the same process now on the other side, 180 degrees over. We're going to hold our blade just above the paper and about a 45 degree bevel. Again, we're going to come back down, we're going to check our angle, and that's perfect. Now, if you're building the FT Tenant Lite, you're done with your bevel cuts. We don't need to cut the bevels into our control surfaces. If you're building the classic radio controlled FT Tenant, our next step is gonna to be to fold our control surfaces over 180 degrees. And just like we did before, cut a nice 45 degree bevel. It's really important whenever we cut bevels for our control surfaces that there's no resistance when we move up or down. If you have too much resistance, it means that you may have a little bit of extra foam right where it meets the paper. Make sure you, that you either sand that out or cut that out. This one moves great. Let's go ahead and do the same process now on the other side. There we go. And that moves nice and easy as well. Now before we use our gauge and establish the proper angle for our V-tail, Let's first install our control horns. It's gonna be a lot easier to do it this way. To install our control horns, we're gonna make sure that the hole for our control horn is directly over the hinge line, and we're gonna press it down into the slot. There we go. Once we've done that test fit, we can come back with a little bit of glue right inside that hole that we just made. And we're gonna place our control horn right down in there. Again, making sure that the hole is right over the hinge line. Let's do the same process now on the other side. First, we always do a test fit, making sure our control horn is pointing in the right direction. And then we come back, a small bead of glue, and then press it down into place. Make sure you give this plenty of time to dry because if your control horn is not properly fastened, you're gonna lose control on that surface. Now that we have our control horns glued in place, let's take our angle gauge and do a quick practice test here, making sure that we can easily hold this piece flat against the table and press this up all the way without it resisting too much. Now that we're happy with that, we'll apply a bead of glue starting and stopping about a quarter inch from the edge. Once again, we're gonna hold this flat against the table as we press our angle gauge up against the tail. We're gonna hold this for about a minute to make sure the glue fully dries and when we pull it away, we shouldn't see the tail move down at all. After about a minute has passed by, you should notice that if you pull your angle gauge away, the tail doesn't fall down at all. If you wish, you can easily go back with an additional bead of glue right on this seam to give it even more reinforcement. We're now gonna do the same process on the other side. We always start with a test fit. We're gonna take our angle gauge, we're gonna go right up against where it meets the bottom and make sure that we're only filling the weight of the fin. Once we're happy with that, we're gonna open it up and place a bead of glue right down in the seam, starting and stopping about a quarter inch from the edge. Back against the tail, all the way against. Again, we're gonna hold the flat portion against the table and we're gonna press our angle gauge all the way up against where the seam is. 
Now that minute has passed by, when I pull this away, you notice our tail doesn't go down at all. Now that we have our tail section, our next step is to mount it to the mounting plate. Now you're gonna notice both in the FT Tenant and the FT Tenant Lite that there's three mounting plates included. The additional one is for you to design your own tail and try it on later. For aligning our mounting plate, we're gonna use the back end of our mounting plate and we're gonna line it up flush with the back end of our V-tail. Now it's really important that we don't mount our mounting plate at an angle or else that's gonna cause the airplane to turn one direction or the other. We wanna get this as straight and true as possible, which means this back plate will be perfectly parallel and flush with the back plate of the tail. And also that the two seams on both sides are gonna be parallel to the sides of the mounting plate. Make sure that you practice this and you take note with how it all fits together and then we'll glue it down. Now that we practice the fit, it's gonna come along with a little bit of glue. Again, my hot glue gun is set to low temperature. And what I like to do is kind of smoosh this nice and thin, spread it out a little bit. And all my attention is gonna to go to making sure the tail is mounted nice and true to the mounting plate. There we go. You can see both seams are parallel to the mounting plate and the back is nice and flush. Now that we have that, we can simply hold this down, make sure we haven't moved it at all and give it a good minute to fully dry. At this point, the V-tail is now done. We're ready to move on to our next step in this build project and build together. We'll see you soon.